If you're planning to commit a crime and then have the misfortune of being caught, Norway might seem the right sort of place to do it. Certainly if you're sent to the country's flagship open prison, which you could easily mistake for a holiday camp. Situated on Bastoy Island on Oslo Fjord, prisoners can walk by the sea or take a swim. They live in shared apartments and there's no barbed wire or high walls in sight. Bastri Island is located about an hour from the Norwegian capital, tucked inside the Oslo Fjord. It's a slice of paradise, featuring one of Norway's most beautiful beaches. Martin Reeren has been here since May. He used to work on an oil rig, but now he cares for horses on the farm. Despite appearances, it's no island vacation. Bastri is a prison for murderers, rapists, drug dealers and other criminals. Once you accept the fact that you have to serve your sentence, it's a really nice prison. You can be outdoors a lot, in nature. It's prison, but I'm really happy here. Bastri is an open prison. Martin and his friend Chetil, who's in charge of feeding the cows here, take a bike ride around the island. They live in a cozy wooden house free of prison walls, bars or guards. Martin and Chetil stay here with six other inmates. Each man has his own room and is free to decorate it as he wishes. Like in other shared accommodation, they take turns cleaning up. Prison director Anna Nielsen prefers this concept. He believes criminals shouldn't be punished any more than necessary. We put the focus on the inmates. Humanity is the key. We give them the chance to find themselves, develop self-confidence and change their lifestyle. Nielsen says the prisoners should learn how to shoulder responsibility and to do that they're tasked with grooming the animals or working in the organic greenhouse. Bastri is home to 112 inmates. Five guards keep watch on the island in the evening. When I see these guys, they invite me in for a coffee, and then we chat for a bit. It's not a typical guard-prisoner relationship. Far from it. Nielsen approves of this. He's a psychotherapist, and his philosophy involves trusting the inmates here, even the one who murdered his own parents and cut them up in pieces. Yes, we had a chainsaw murderer here on the island. Eventually, he was allowed to work in the forest with a chainsaw. That's how we are here. No matter what you've done, you should get a second chance. The numbers speak for themselves. Only about 10% of inmates commit crimes again after their release. In comparison, 30% of inmates in closed prisons end up behind bars again. Norway's penal system is one of the most liberal in the world. In Norway, the gap between rich and poor is relatively small, and the population isn't all that large. So it's highly possible many of us know someone who's committed a crime. Martin and Chetil are taking an evening swim after the day's work is done. The mainland and freedom don't seem all that far away. One inmate says he's allowed to leave the island for 18 days vacation each year to visit the mainland, which is just four kilometers away and close enough to swim to. But Martin and Chetil aren't tempted to try and escape. If you did that, you'd just be locked up. It's not worth it. The people here want to get their lives under control. Even though they're serving a sentence, they feel free. The island prison is a step towards a new life, and it's effective. Norway has one of the lowest incarceration rates in Europe.